Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have no idea who I am or what I'm all about, my name is Victoria and I am a mental health advocate. I like to utilize all of my social media platforms, including this YouTube channel, as a way to spread awareness about mental health, um, share my story, and hopefully play a small role in breaking the negative stigma that does surround mental health issues. The topic of today's video is super relevant, and it is COVID-19 and mental health. Now, I say this is a very relevant topic right now, of course, because the entire world is dealing with this virus scare in one way or another, especially people who have previously dealt with mental health issues. Um, they are now dealing with heightened levels of anxiety and depression and things like that. But even if you are someone who has never had any experience with mental health issues, it's very likely that everything going on with this virus right now will affect your mental health in one way or another. Just to give you guys like a tiny little story of one way that it has affected me this past week, not only am I dealing with heightened levels of anxiety and depression, but um, of course with this shelter in place everywhere, businesses are not operating like normal and I had a very important business matter the last week that needed to be dealt with with the DMV and since they are not taking walk-ins they are by appointment only and there are no appointments currently available so despite being on hold on the phone for multiple hours I was never able to get through to anybody and speak with anybody over the phone therefore my business matter was not dealt with um, by the deadline. So of course that results in me being extra stressed out, extra anxious, but I have faith. I know God will help me in this situation and I know that I know that um, my business matter will be taken care of eventually. But to start off this video, I wanted to share um, two Bible scriptures that I think uh, will really speak to you regarding everything that's going on in the world right now. So let me go ahead and share those with you. The first one is, even though the fig trees have no blossoms and there are no grapes on the vines, even though the olive crop failed and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the field and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The Lord gives me strength. He makes me sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. And the second one is, at times I might shut up the heavens so that no rain falls, or command grasshoppers to, devour, to devour your crops, or send plagues among you. But then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. This morning I woke up and I felt like I really wanted to take advantage of my shelter in place situation right now and get some content out to you guys regarding COVID-19 and mental health because I am a mental health advocate. And while I was talking with my grandma this morning, we came up with this idea that I'm really fond of. It's the thought that our list of cans, the list of things that we can do right now, greatly outweighs the list of can'ts, the list of things that we are not allowed to currently do. So I came up with a list of 11 things that we can do in this time of chaos and also while dealing with the shelter in place. So I just wanted to run down that list really quickly and share it with you guys. Number one is that we can always seek God. I know personally, I spend a great deal of my life seeking God or doing my best to do so, but I can really utilize this time at home right now to just seek God. Next is you can use this time at home to read your Bible, or you can start um, an inspirational or self-help book. That'll really uplift your spirits during this time. In fact, go ahead and make a list of books that you've been meaning to read and just start checking them off. It'll feel so good and it'll also help you feel productive during this time. Blast your praise and worship music. Jam out to it in your house and worship God at the same time. 
even though it's um, churches right now are not currently holding their normal church services, you can jump online and watch the Sunday service online. That way you're not missing out on your Sunday services. You can still go on walks and you can spend time outside on your own property. You can use this time to meditate. If you are not familiar with meditation, there's tons of YouTube videos out there that walk you through the meditation process. You can still say your daily affirmations. Even during my normal life, I try to say my daily affirmations daily. Um, they really just set the tone to my day and just put such a positive spin on my mindset. And lastly, we are still in charge of deciding how we are going to deal with this sense of fear. You have to remember faith versus fear. Which one is going to be greater? I know I'm going to work really hard on making my faith greater than my fear. Oh, and one more thing. Pray. If anything, just pray for this world right now. Everybody with the title human needs prayer right now. Well, guys, that's the list of cans that I came up with, things that we can productively do um, during this time. And of course, there's endless ideas that you can come up with on how to spend this time while we're dealing with the shelter in place. You can spend time with your family members. You can play board games. You can watch some movies you've been wanting to watch, and you can also binge watch Netflix. And if there's family members that you're not currently able to physically be with right now, remember social media is a great tool to stay connected. And like I said in the beginning of this video, right now, anybody that has history with dealing with mental health issues is probably suffering a little bit more, probably dealing with heightened levels of depression and anxiety. But even people that have no past history with mental health issues are probably experiencing similar heightened levels of anxiety and depression. So let's all just remember to stay as positive as possible and always spread love. I've seen a lot of people recently posting on Facebook that um, if anybody out there is in need of something to please reach out to them and they will do their best to accommodate that need. And that just really touched my heart. I think that's so sweet and a great way to spread love and positivity. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This one's going to be on the shorter side, but I just wanted to get straight to the point. Any um, chance that I get to hop on here and talk about mental health, I try to take full advantage of that. The most important thing is to keep the conversation going. Mental health issues are not easy to talk about. So anytime I have the courage or the desire to jump on here and discuss these hard topics with you, like I said, I always try to take full advantage of that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and to anybody that shares it or comments on it. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the love and support that I receive on the daily. Oh, and one more thing, all of my social media links are up in my banner and they are clickable links. So if you wanna connect with me on any of my other social media platforms, that's the way to do it. All right, guys, I am wishing you um, safety and health and all the positivity in the world right now. Stay safe out there, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.